Five days ago, we caught a ferry to the Isles of Lewis and Harris on a campervan road trip. We discovered remote lighthouses, old cottages and ancient stones. We drank lots of tea and walked miles of stunning beaches. So it's time to move on and discover the Isle of Uist. So jump on board and come along too. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Roll that intro. Good morning from a dry but very windy Isle of Harris. Just freshened up. We're about to leave to the Isle of Uist on the ferry boat. This is where we stayed last night. This is where we parked last night. And we were promised a view at least. We were promised a view of the ocean. We weren't let down. It's Friday today. Friday the 21st of May. It is and we're leaving for this. We're all packed up. Ramps are away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're heading to the ferry to go to Uist, North Uist. Here we go. Horgabost was this campsite. Horgabost. So yes, nice campsite if you're either heading to Uist or if you've just come back from Uist and you need somewhere to stay overnight. Got drinking water here at the front, next to the burger bar. August, yes, you're clear. Need to go. And we're off.
waiting for the ferry at the front and I believe way over there in the distance is Uist. It's a one hour ferry ride which seems quite long because on the map it doesn't look that far away. But an hour it is. We're ready. We're ready and psyched for a ferry journey, aren't we? Got a week's worth of the Outer Hebrides stubble growth. By the time we get home next week, oh, crikey, it'll be even thicker. Here comes our ferry looking not as big as the last one we went on. <laughs> Looks are deceiving. choppy the actual ride is smooth which is nice we're not feeling nauseous are we early days you think we'll report back in about 15 minutes but at the moment it's nice and smooth we're halfway on our ferry ride bit of splash there. It's still relatively smooth. We're feeling good. Give it about half an hour we should be on the Isle of Uist. Lock Seal Viewing Point. There's two species of seal seen here. Grey seal and the common seal. I've already spotted a couple over there. There's a couple over there. I do believe as well there's some over there. Great little spot. Right, we've just pulled up. We're on the top half of Uist. We're on Burneray. And we're on the east coast of Burneray. And over there is the Isle of Harris. Bit blowy out there. And raining, who's see any water on my glasses? We're gonna drive round Burneray. We're gonna go to a nice little gift shop called the Coral Box. 
which we did see on a YouTube video a short while back. And it just looks a quaint little gift shop. So we're going to have a look there now. Let's see if we can buy a little piece of the little ones and tell them Because we like collecting them. We do. So let's go there now. Just pulled up here on the top of a hill. On the top looks like an observatory. We're at Ben Becula. Looks like a giant golf ball. But the views up here are amazing. What we're gonna do, we're gonna walk down to St Kilda viewpoint. Surprise, surprise, it's a viewpoint, hopefully, of St Kilda. And there's a geocache there as well. You can see the rest of North Uist in front of us, but further on, there's such a thing, I'll call it Mid Uist before it heads down to South Uist. What a spectacular view this late afternoon. Hello. Right, what can we see here? Sky, so South Uist, as I mentioned earlier, is definitely over there. And in the very far distance, if you can see the two little lumps over there, that is Barra. How do we know all this? Thanks to this. And over there, in the far, far distance, is St Kilda. The islands of St Kilda. Elaine is off to find a geocache. I'm going to get in the camper van. I'm 
I'm going to pick her up on the way down. But there you go. This is a really nice viewpoint to take in a lot of the surroundings. And the south of the island as well, where we're heading tomorrow. Welcome to our pull-up for this evening. Elaine has the tea on. Yeah, it's too windy to pop the roof. Yes. Let's show them where we are. This is Lingi Beach or Trey Lingi Beach. We came here earlier on and we thought if there was an opportunity to come back we would do. It's wild camping but you can camp here. I don't know what you call these places. Honesty campsites? The only thing you've got is a tap with fresh water and a bin but other than that, we are wild camping. There's a handful of other camper vans. And this is our spot for tonight. The sea's out. So, the sun's going down. <laughs> Simon's looking at the view out of that window. Look at that! We're partially ready for the night. We've got the blinds up. And the good thing is, that these windows are really tinted so from outside you really can't see in. I mean what time is it now Simon? 25 to 10 in the evening. Good grief. It feels like 7 o'clock. It does, doesn't it? I've got the heater on, that's the, the noise you can hear. Making it nice and toasty. 